Good morning guys, welcome back to Woman Engineering. My name is Greg. So today we're gonna be working on an Arsdale 20 inch horizontal mirror just over there on the back. We're gonna put the cover back on the gearbox. We're gonna seal it. Probably we're gonna fill it up with oil and just do a test run. So let's get to it.
again as always we're using Permatex Super Black since the crack was over here I'll be putting a little bit more on this side and on that side around this area to make sure it seals properly In the meantime, the sealant is drying. Let me just prep the surface and then put the bearing in. Here's a brand new bearing. It's going to be seated over here. everything is ready to go back together well you didn't see guys what I did I went ahead and ground this bit down okay because the outside cogwheel over here actually was touching the casting so let's put this back together Guys, the thing is a success. The sealant is evenly out. There you go, I think it's beautiful. I'm just gonna give it a good wipe. Okay, it's not the prettiest. All I need to do is put back the washer. I'm sorry, the retainer.
Or what I can do, what do you say? Go clear plexiglass. Yep, there we do. Hope he's gonna keep it there. It's a clean looking glass if you ask me. Well, it was clean looking glass. Once again, sealant is coming out a little bit. So I think we have a success again. I can't see any gap. I'm gonna fill this up with oil. Now the catch in this one is the, that's why you fill it up. That's the hole. I mean, it's gotta be a joke, but you know, there ain't nothing to it just to do it. So yeah, let's crack on. I'm gonna set you up here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I suppose I need to fiddle with the funnel. This is Westway Lubricants, made in GB, ISO 32. That's what Arsdale recommends. Well, Arsdale recommends something else, but it's obsolete, and ISO 32 is the equivalent of that. So let's hear it up. <laughs> you can see that there's just a tiny bit of bubble up there I have a hunch there might just be a little bit of trapped air in it everything is dry what do you say let's spin her up Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it running for about like five to ten minutes just to make sure that the oil gets everywhere in the gearbox and then I start shifting gears. All right, and I'll bring it back then.
that's my train plug. It's it's a quarter twenty volt. If you can see, but I'm moving the magnet under it. Can you see that? There's definitely a lot of metal shear in it. So I'm gonna do another round. And I'm gonna drain the oil fully and top it up again. So let me run the machine another 20, 25 minutes, maybe an hour, just in low gear. Um, get the gearbox cleaned. 